your remarks last last month when you called margaret sanger the founder of planned parenthood a person whom you had normally remire at meyer were stunning to me margaret sanger clearly embraced bigotry and racism she advocated for the elimination of the disabled the downtrodden trodden and the black child in one of her writings she said today eugenics is suggested by the most diverse minds as the most adequate and thorough avenue to the solution of racial political and social problems. Let me say with respect to uh, your comments about Margaret Sanger, you know, I admire Thomas Jefferson. I admire his words and his leadership, and I deplore his unrepentant slaveholding. I admire Margaret Sanger being a pioneer in trying to empower women to have some control over their bodies, and I deplore statements that you have referenced is the way we often are when we look at flawed human beings. There are things that we admire and things we deplore. Well, thank you so much. It's great to be back in Houston with so many friends and to have an opportunity to participate in the Planned Parenthood annual meeting. I have to tell you that um, it was a great privilege when I was told that I would receive this award. Uh, I admire Margaret Sanger enormously, her courage, her tenacity, her vision. Another of my great friends, Ellen Chesler, is here who wrote a magnificent biography of Margaret Sanger called Woman of Valor. And when I think about what she did all those years ago in Brooklyn, taking on archetypes, taking on attitudes and accusations flowing from all directions, I am really in awe of her. And there are a lot of lessons that we can learn from her life and from the cause she launched and fought for and sacrificed so greatly.